Doodlebud. I think most fountain pen users will agree that the nib is pretty much the most important part of the pen. And if you have the wrong nib size or it's not writing properly, it is infuriating. And so this is what happened to me with my Pilot Vanishing Point. I picked this one up, second hand, smoke and deal, came with a medium nib. I thought that would be a great idea. Turned out it was a terrible idea. Now it wasn't a terrible idea because there was something wrong with the nib. The terrible idea came from me wanting to go to a medium instead of a fine. Now this is my Pilot Elite with a fine nib. I absolutely enjoy this pen. It's just something very unique about this nib. It's absolutely lovely. It has this just tiny little bit of bounce to it, but it just writes and writes and writes. One of my favorite writing pens. But I thought, let me switch it up a little bit. I have this Pilot Elite with a absolutely perfect fine. There's no point in trying to make it better than this. So when I got mine, I thought medium would be perfect, but then I ran into a problem. So I did a video a while ago where I measured a whole bunch, I think it was 47 pens of nib widths. So the line widths that they output. So I did a bunch of extra fines. I did some fines and some mediums. And so this was the challenge for me here. Where is it? Uh, here we go. This is the Pilot 18 karat and this was on my vanishing point. So the standard fine point nib, if you look back over here on the Pilot, runs around 0.3 millimeters. This is on my 823. It's a, running a little bit wide because I've smoothed it, but they seem to be around 0.3 millimeters. So I thought the medium will maybe go up to 0.4, maybe 0.5, but it turns out the medium on the Pilot goes up a lot, went to 0.6 millimeters. Now again, the nib, the nib wrote perfectly, had no problems with that, but it was not what I expected. So what ended up happening is the pen just sat around. It had a perfectly functioning nib in there. It was just the wrong point size for me. It wrote really well, but not how I like to use this pen. And just the, the grip on this is a little bit different. I find this isn't my best pen for say cursive writing. I like it more for note taking and printing and the medium just wasn't cutting it. So I did a video, I, I griped about it, I moaned about it, but then someone reached out to me, actually a fellow YouTuber, check out their channel, Miss Marilyn Darling, and uh, they got all sorts of videos on there. We did a nib swap, a little swap arena. They had the medium, sorry, they had the fine, I had the medium. They wanted the medium, I wanted the fine. So $5.10 USPS. Okay, here in Canada, for me to ship something to someone like five minutes away in the post to ship that nib, it would be probably $25 or $30 easy. So I ended up finding out it was only five bucks, 10 cents to ship with in the US. So I shipped it from the States, got theirs, boom, tried it in a second, immediately loved the nib, sent mine off. They just did a video on uh, using my nib and they're super happy with it. So that was awesome. Like what a difference it makes. And so you can buy a new nib uh, you can go on to different retailers or find them on eBay or something like that, the whole nib unit. And depending on the price you get, maybe it's $100 or $70, somewhere in that range. But uh, we just swapped straight across $5.10 of shipping. I will pay that all day long. And now the pen is wonderful. Let me show you a quick writing sample and a few other pens here too. Now, in case you're wondering the ink color, someone always asks, I don't know, I don't have a catalog. My guess is the Namiki Blue, I Pilot Namiki Blue. I think that's what's in there. And I think what's in here is Diamine Majestic Blue, but I'm just guessing. You know, I was thinking in the comments, for those of you out there where you had a pen, it wasn't performing the way you wanted, let others know what you did. So was it a nib swap? Was it a nib grind? Was it something you did to it? Because a little change can make a big difference. And maybe there's some folks on the fence out there. So you can see here in the sample, it is exactly the same size. I measured it, I added the nib now to the list of all the other ones I did, and it's running right in that 0.3 millimeters. I wish they did have one that was kind of like 0.4, uh, but it is interesting that the fine 0.3 and the medium's like up to 0.6. I still don't understand that. What I have here is a sample of pens as an example where doing something to the nib, whether it's changing it, grinding it, tuning it, whatever it was, made all the difference. So here's the first example. This is my Mont Blanc M. I picked this up for 20 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. Thought I was gonna get scammed, 
I thought, let's try it for 20 bucks. I got a video all about this. It's a real Mont Blanc M. The deal with this is the nib got all screwed up by the person who owned it. This is supposed to be ruthenium coating, but that's all gone. You can see the video, but this went from needing a new nib to just needing some TLC. And honestly, this is probably my best writer as far as how it feels in the hand when you write. It just feels absolutely fantastic. And so here's a pen that was sort of written off and the guy was just selling it for what the gold is worth in the nib because he was so frustrated no one would buy it. Um, it just needed some tune-up and now it is a lovely, lovely writer. This is my Lamy 2000. Fantastic pen. Loved it. Extra fine nibs, sort of the same scenario as I had with my Vanishing Point where... You know, this wrote way wider than I thought, so did mine. Mine could have been more of an outlier, but I loved writing with it, but it was just too thick of a line. So again, I have a video on this. I ground it to an extra fine curse of Italic. I absolutely adore this pen now. Functions just the way I love it. Here's an example of a pen where um, this is the Enso Puma Primary Manipulation 4. Now, I have the Enso Puma in the Japanese Ebonite, and it's got a fine nib on there, a Bach nib writes just fine this is the gold one wow does that does that ever make a difference this fine nib is one of my absolute favorite finds that i have has a gorgeous bounce again i have videos on all these if you want to see me go through the writing samples learn about them what a difference this is one of my absolute favorite writers now the visconti homo sapien gorgeous pen got this really cheap because the nib had baby's bottom it was classified as a fine it wrote like a broad and way too wet sat on this pen forever knew i should send it off and i didn't finally i did send this off to mark Bacchus, and this is just absolute perfection now my mont blanc 149 same thing got a great deal in this new old stock but the nib was bad on it i can see why no one paid money for this in a shop or something because the nib needed to be tuned Anyhow, I got the deal on it, sent it to someone to do. The first Nibmeister I ever sent it to, don't want to say who it was, but it didn't, didn't work out well. So I figured, why not just learn how to do this myself? So this was actually the pen that got me into tuning and grinding my own nibs because it's such a good pen, but the nib was off. And so now it's a fine curse of italic. And this is one of my favorite all-time writers. And the last one I'll give you an example is my Lamy Dialogue 3. I got suckered in the shop. I tried the medium and it felt just glorious. This this is still probably the smoothest writing pen I have in the medium. But again, didn't suit my writing style like this medium. It was just too wide. It felt fantastic. It felt great, but my writing looked terrible. So swapped it out. I still have the nib and I got the extra fine. Did it in the, the black scheme here to match the pen. I think that looks sharp. And then I ground it to an extra fine architect. And it has just this beautiful line that I think really mates well with this pen. And I really enjoy this pen. Again, it had a lovely writing nib. The pen sat for a long time. So I thought, you know what, I got to do something about this because this is really great. Sell it and move on or do something. And I'm sh very, very happy I swapped the nib. So you may have heard me say it before, but no bad pens. If you have a pen that you like and there's just, it's usually, it comes down to the nib. It's not writing the way you like it or this is too wide, whatever it is, it doesn't suit you and you don't use it. You know, if you plan on having this thing for a while, that's the thing with these pens, we're going to have them for decades. Why not get it the way you like it? So big thank you to Miss Marilyn Darling. Again, check out their channel. I'll put a link down there for doing the nib swap. They love my nib. I love their nib. And uh, this pen now is in my two pen case as an everyday carry. And I just, I've been using it all week taking notes i get calls come in you don't have time to undo a cap or all this type of stuff you just click boom write the note and i really am enjoying the functionality of this pilot vanishing point now so thanks for watching let's chat in the comments hit subscribe we'll catch you next time